Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome to Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. I'm Pastor JL. This is my peculiar journey. Hello, Villalobos family is joining me. Hello, hello, welcome, 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 welcome. Wow, lots of friends. Okay, first of all, you guys need to know this. I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt because did you know that today is Mickey Mouse's birthday? You guys, my Tia's on. Tia, a shout out to you. It's Mickey Mouse's birthday, therefore, I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt, Mickey Mouse earrings. I also have a Mickey Mouse mask, cause I do. Okay, here's what I wanna talk about today. Stuff that smells. I know, you're like, what? Okay, so there's stuff that smells kinda bad, like um, some people's feet, and you know who you are. You do though, that's why we pray that you'd keep your shoes on. How many of you guys know people, you know people, who just need to keep their shoes on, right? Or go wash them feet. It's a true story. If you're wondering where I am, I'm sitting by a tree. A Christmas tree! It's true, okay. And I'm on a green couch. You see the green? There's green. And a yellow pillow. Okay, here we go. I like how um, Miss Wendy's laughing because she knows what I'm talking about, about feet. Anyway, there's some stuff that smells really bad, okay? There is like feet and like liver and onions. <clears throat> mom, my mom likes liver and onions. Me, not at all. True story, you guys, and then we'll get to our verse for the day. One time, my pop and my mom and I, we were over at um, IHOP, and IHOP used to sell liver and onions. Ugh. And so my mom ordered it, bless her heart, and so, uh, when it came, my dad and I proceeded to um, to leave. We literally took our pancakes and moved to a different table. Not our best moment, but we moved because it stunk. It was stinky. But I have something that smells good. Let me show you this. Look at this. Wait, wait. Oh, I could show you like this. Bam! Pine cones. That's right. I have these amazing pine cones. They're so good, you guys. They smell like... Um, like cinnamon goodness. And I keep this little bucket of pine cones in my office right now. I'm definitely not in my office. I'm in the lobby of the church. See, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. And the tree's next to me. And these smell so good. Our, my office hallway was smelling really stinky earlier and I'm like, I need to bring these with me. And it reminds me of, ready? We're gonna connect this. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. It says, God considers us to be, a, to be the pleasing smell that Christ is spreading. Amen. So let's read that again. God considers us to be the pleasing smell that Christ is, is spreading. He is spreading it among people who are, who are being saved and people who are dying. Well, that was a little rough, but I like that first part that says, God considers us to be the pleasing smell that Christ is spreading. So this is what this scripture means to me. As believers, as Christians, we need to be a fragrance of Christ. A fragrance of Christ, meaning we need to like smell good, like physically smell good. But what I mean is like to have an aroma where people are like, wait a minute, like, you've been with Jesus, you know? Two, I have some notes for me, so that's what I'm looking at, because I was like, this is cool. That when we worship Jesus with a lifestyle of abiding in him, we like exude that fragrance. And I know there's like a big words there, but abiding in Jesus means we are resting in him. We are staying in his presence. We have communication with God. We're talking with him. And when we have that going on, then when people are around us, they'll, they will like smell Christ on us, smell Jesus on us. Meaning like when you, you go to the store, people be like, wait a minute, something's different about you, right? There's something different about you. Um, Mom, there's something different about you, Monica. There's something different about you, Abby and Elijah, right? Something different about you, Wendy. There's something different about us because we're living a lifestyle where we stay in God's presence. 
So let me pray for us today. Lord Jesus, I pray for all of my friends right now. God, will you help us to abide or to stay, to live in your presence so that no matter where we go or what we do, we will have the fragrance of Christ. We will smell like you, Lord. We will look like you. We will act like you. We will show you to people. We ask you for this in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, friends. All right. If so, uh, tip of the day, if you want your house to smell nice, get you some pine cones or an air freshener. You know, those work too. <laughs> anyway, have a beautiful day, and I hope I see you guys real soon. And it's almost Thanksgiving. <gasps> Thanksgiving, get ready, because... Next week's peculiar journey is going to be at my house, and I'm going to have a special guest. My mom! She doesn't know it yet, but now she does. Okay, what we're going to do, I don't know. We're going to do something. It's going to be fun. So, Mom, get ready. Peculiar journey with you. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.